Good evening and welcome to PRMA 130 Introduction to Statistics. My name is Dr. Mark Kinnon and I will be the professor for this course. So let's go ahead and make our way to Canvas. So in order to, to get to Canvas, we need to go to canvas.apu.edu. So uh, you'll, you'll have to log in. So I'm, I'm already logged in, but you'll just have to use uh, the same username that you use for your email and the same password. So go ahead and select PRMA 130, Introduction to Stats, that's our course shell. So you may notice as you enter the course shell, you're going to see this module format. Um, and you'll see that syllabus is empty. Right now I'm currently doing the syllabus video, which I'll post shortly and then make the syllabus in week one available, uh, subsequent weeks to follow fairly quickly. But okay, so where can we find the syllabus and other files? There's conveniently a file tab and it allows me as an instructor to post, you know, all, all the files there that you'll have to see. Okay, so click on the syllabus folder. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the syllabus. Okay. So I'll tell you a little more about myself in a little bit. This is my email address. You can email me anytime and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. As mentioned in the email that I previously sent, the textbook is optional. It's a good read, that's why I picked it, but it is optional because I am providing all the videos that you'll need to excel in this course. Something that I, I find to be really impressive is the fact that Azusa Pacific offers SPSS for free to all of its students. Uh, this is something that is very rare. It's a very expensive program. And, you know, it's, it's, it's going to make our class that much better. So, uh, and I mentioned this in, in the first SPSS lecture, but you'll need to go to this link and you'll need to download the software so you can follow along with the lecture and do the subsequent activity. <clears throat> okay, so let's look at the student learning outcomes. So by the end of this course, students should be able to describe and assess data using graphs and measures. Okay, well pretty much just understand the whole data analysis process. The way I set up this course is I'm going to be teaching you um, a, a bunch of statistical tools that you can use to make sense out of blobs of data. So the second learning outcome is uh, select appropriate statistical tests for data and, and interpret the results. So like I said, you're going to learn a, a variety of statistical tools that you can um, apply to various sets of data and interpret it, make sense of it. Use statistical software to evaluate data. And that's the SPSS we just talked about. So essentially this course is divided into to two parts. There's the SPSS piece. And then there's the by, the by hand piece. The importance of the by hand piece is it's good for you to understand what you're actually doing when you click the button in SPSS. So the, the late work policy is simply this. Uh, you you have a week to complete each module. Just complete it on time. If 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 there's an extraordinary circumstance, go ahead and communicate with me. Uh, otherwise, you won't get credit. Okay, so here are all the the grading components. So there are going to be three exams, and they're going to be ten percent each. Okay, so the exams will be in like a short answer format and really the exams are going to mirror how the by hand lecture is done. 
as well as the by hand activity. So it's, it's, it's almost like a second activity. You shouldn't be surprised or confused. Okay. So there's three of those exams and they're worth 10% each. Essentially, you're going to print them out, do them at home, scan them in, and upload them to Canvas, and then I'll grade them. There are going to be 12 quizzes. Now these quizzes are going to be multiple choice quizzes. There's going to be 10 multiple choice questions, and it's just going to be conceptual. There are going to be 12 activities. Okay, so essentially after you watch the by hand lecture and you work with me step by step to complete the problems, then you're going to have an opportunity to do it by yourself. Of course, I provide the answer key, so if you get stuck, you can kind of bounce off against that. And also what I recommend for my students, if you get stuck on something, write it out. Okay, take a picture of it or scan it in and send it to me. Okay, that's the best way to ask questions in this class. <coughs> Excuse me. There's also five SPSS assignments, which are essentially SPSS activities. And again, there's going to be the SPSS lecture, and then you're going to have an opportunity to do the same thing using SPSS. Um, so, just you know, just a different a different uh, set of numbers. So I guess what I'm trying to say is. Uh, the lecture and the activity are going to be identical except for different numbers. So just think of it as practice. And the SPSS lecture and assignments, that's like all we're going to do for SPSS. You're not going to have to know SPSS for the exams. But what you can do actually is because you have a SPSS, which is very unusual uh, for introductory uh, uh, stat students is you could actually do the exams by hand and then check them using SPSS to make sure you didn't make any errors. Okay, uh, there's also a statistical application project which is a little small project that we're going to be working with towards the end of class and I'm going to make a separate video of the statistical application project and we're going to uh, I'm going to go over the requirements during that video. So let's look at some timelines. Okay, so as you can see, I've broken up the the modules uh, into into weeks, and I and, and these weeks are going to go from Monday to Sunday. Okay, so let's look during during week one. Okay. So I'm going to cover chapter one from the textbook, but if you don't have the textbook, it doesn't really matter, which is a simple introduction to statistics and research. And then I'm covering chapter two, which is creating and using frequency distributions. Okay. Okay. So then you're going to have a chapter one quiz to complete, a chapter two quiz to complete, a chapter one activity, and a chapter two activity. And then there's also an SPSS activity due. So notice... The next week, very similar. We're just looking at chapter three, chapter four. There's a chapter three and chapter four quiz, chapter three and chapter four activity. And then there's an SPSS activity due. Okay. So it follows the same sort of format. What you'll notice is the weeks that you have an exam to complete, you're not gonna have an SPSS activity because that would just be way too much work to do, okay? So your first exam is going to be due in the in the range of week three, and then we're going to start the statistical application project in the range of week four. Okay, and then you're going to have another exam week five, and notice no SPSS activity. Okay, more statistical application stuff here, another exam week seven, and then we're going to do a statistical application project uh, presentations and I'm still I'm still thinking about how I'm going to I'm gonna roll those out so what what I what I'm thinking I might ask you to do is to do some sort of uh, screen capture and post the video under a, a discussion board and then you all have to watch each other's videos and just make a couple of comments and I think that will be you know a good opportunity for you all to uh, apply 
statistics and and in, interpret them and present them and learn a lot about technology. Uh, so so I'm 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 really happy that we're doing this project. Okay. Yeah, and like I said, here's the grading rubric for the the statistical application project, but I'm going to make a separate video for that. Okay, so so now what I want to do is I want to point out some important features of Canvas. So, so far we've seen the files. Let's just look at week one as an example. So there are the by hand files. There's chapter one, okay. So week one by hand, chapter one, lecture, right? So, so here are some lecture notes and, and these are really rough draft lecture notes because I, I use them to guide me when I make the videos. So really you're just paying attention to the videos, but if you kind of want to go back and dig a little deeper, you can look at my, my actual rough draft notes. Could be helpful, maybe not. Okay, ch chapter one, activity. So you'll see the prompt if you click on it. And this is what you have to complete. So just answer these questions. And, and now that I'm actually looking at it, it would probably be easier for this one if I actually released the Word doc as well, just so you could answer, answer short answers. So, so essentially you download this activity, you would answer the questions, and you would upload it. Okay, and then chapter two is the same format. And then there's going to be a SPSS lecture. Okay, so... So these are the files that I'm working with for the SPSS lecture. It's all in the video and I'm referring to these files. But if you wanna like, for example, take a look at the Excel file that I use and kinda just uh, use, use it as a template, you can go ahead and do that. And then I have the activity. So one thing I wanna point out, and this is, this is for the handwritten activities as well as the SPSS activities, I provide a key. Okay, so I just get key, key. Um, and, and the reason for that is I want you to work through it on your own based on the lecture notes, but then I want you to be able to check the key yourself or check it if you get stuck to really just move you forward rather than you having to ask a question and wait. And obviously, if you do consult the key and you're still confused, you really need to ask a question. Okay, okay so I think that's good as we cover, as we cover uh, files. Uh, so then there's also this assignment tab. So the assignment tab is is going to be a place where you can, you know, take the quizzes, submit the exams, activities, SPSS activities, or assignments, um, all the aspects of your statistical application project. Okay. You know, there's a there's a discussion tab, and we're we're actually not going to use a discussion for this one. And and then there's a there's a grades tab. Okay. Okay. And there's a, a pages tab, which in the pages tab, I'm going to upload all of my lectures. So all my files that are tied back to YouTube. But the most important tab is the tab that you see when you actually enter the course, because this is going to be the module. So for example, I'm going to post this syllabus video here, and I'm going to make it a requirement that you watch the syllabus video uh, before you go to lecture one and then submit the activity and quiz, and then uh, go, well, this should actually be, so chapter one exam, activity, quiz, chapter two, sorry, chapter one lecture, activity, and quiz, chapter two, lecture, activity, and quiz, then SPSS lecture, and then SPSS activity. So that's kind of how the module's gonna flow. 
and these lectures so these lectures are tied back to pages so it's essentially pulling the video from pages and then these uh, activity and quiz activity and quiz this is linking you back to assignments so so the, the this module area is where you want to be because it tells you what you need to do and when you need to do it by and the order you need to do it in so it keeps us really really organized so I'm really happy with it okay and and that's all we have uh, for now so uh, looking I'm really looking forward to this class it's it's been a lot of fun making the videos and uh, I, I can't wait to just you know get into it so uh, thank you all. Uh, have a nice evening.